Hello, everyone. Um, um, welcome to um, first session in track one. Um, this session will be having um, Moit, and um, Moit will be talking to us about. Moit will be talking to us, and I will be talking to us about Mautic and WooCommerce. And um, this is a recorded session, and um, it will be going live shortly. All right. Moit is a developer at uh, Make Web Beta, and um, is also the co-developer of Bounteek WooCommerce integration. All right, Moit. Right, this is Moit from Make Web Beta. Thanks for having me here today. I will be presenting the session using Mautic with WooCommerce. In the session, we will see how we can connect our WooCommerce store with Mautic using Mautic WooCommerce integration plugin, and how we can set up a simple abandoned cart recovery workflow. First of all, let's see why Motic is important for our WooCommerce store. Why we should integrate our WooCommerce store with Motic marketing automation platform. Integrating WooCommerce with Motic helps you to set up the personalized and automated system of helping customers and growing your businesses. In a highly competitive market, having increased customer requirements, Motic platform strongly aims to understand, succeed, and satisfy your customer requirements with ease and effectiveness. Here are the brief introduction about me. My name is Mohit Pandey and I'm a software developer at Make Web Better. I'm the co-developer of Motive WooCommerce Integration Plugin. Here are the main topics which we, we will be covering today in this session. First of all, we will see how we can connect our WooCommerce store with Motive using Motive WooCommerce Integration Plugin. Then we will see how we can capture abandoned card information of our customer. After that, we will set up some abandoned card reminder email templates. Next, we will create an abandoned card recovery campaign. After that, we will see campaign in action. We will trigger the campaign manually and try to recover our abandoned card using abandoned card notification emails. Now we will see the each point in detail. First is connecting WooCommerce store with Motic. Here we will see the step-by-step -step process of connecting a WooCommerce store with Motic using Motic WooCommerce integration plugin. We have a WooCommerce store setup and we have installed Motic WooCommerce integration plugin. You can access the plugin panel by clicking on Motic link inside your WooCommerce menu. And for connecting your Motic, you can go to the connection tab. Here you will see a form to fill up the details required for setting up the connection. You can get the base URL from your Motic configuration. Copy the site URL and enter into the base URL field. For Motic client ID and secret ID, you will need to set up new, set, new API credentials. Make sure you have enabled the API settings in your configuration. Once you have enabled them, you will get the option to create new API credentials. You can go to the API credentials menu and create new set of API credentials. Please make sure you have set up the OAuth 2 protocol. You can name your API credentials and set up the redirect URL. You can get the redirect URL from your app setup guide available in plugin panel. Copy the redirect URL and paste. Save and close the settings. You will get your public key and secret key. Simply copy the public key and secret key and insert into the client ID and client secret fields. Save the credential and you will get the option to authorize your Motic credentials. Once you click the authorize button, it will redirect you to the Motic panel where you, Motic will ask for the permission. Click on accept and it will redirect back to, back you to the plugin panel. And your connection part is there. You can proceed to the next step. Next step is creating Motic custom fields. Here we have all sorts of custom fields to capture the contact information like customer group, shopping cart information, order information, category bought and product bought information. In this presentation, we will be focusing on abandoned cart. So we will, be, we will be creating only abandoned cart fields and also some other fields like product bought, SKU bought and category bought. Once you have selected all the fields, you can click on start setup it will create all fields, all custom fields into your Motic account. So 
So field setup is completed. You can now proceed to the next step and create the segment. Here are different sub segments available. You can create all customers, cart abandoners, low spenders, and other segments. There are 20 segments available in this plugin. You can create them. Here we'll be focusing on cart abandoned segment. So we'll be creating that only. Once the segment is created, you are all set to sync your contact information to Motic. Just move to the settings tab and make sure your plugin is, available, plugin is enabled and see the other settings which you might want to adjust. Save the setting and you are ready to sync your data over Motic. Now let's quickly move to the Motic panel and see what changes we have done. Go to the custom field tab. Here you can see there are number of fields, number of new custom fields are created. Offered abandoned card coupon and other, which will the, capture the abandoned card information and customer information. And also there is a new segment created, cart abandoners. Let's check what filters we have used in that segment. Go to the edit and check the filters. You can see we have used current abandoned cart filter. Its property should be yes. So the contact will be added into the this segment. So now we have completed the connection and setup part. Next is capturing abandoned cart data. In this section, we will see the available abandoned cart settings in the plugin and demonstrate the tracking and capturing of abandoned cart information of a customer. We will see which information is synced over Motic and how the contact is added into the abandoned cart segment. For adjusting the abandoned cart settings, you will need to move to the abandoned cart tab in the plugin panel where you will find the settings to enable and disable the abandoned cart and adjust the cart timer and adjust the number of days after which you want to delete cart information of your customers. You can also provide coupon codes to your abandoned cart customers. For that, you will need to go coupon for abandoned cart tab and you can adjust the coupon settings from there. Here you will find the setting for setting up minimum cart amount, coupon code and other coupon related settings. You can adjust those. And once you have saved all the settings, you are now good to capture abandoned cart of your stores. Once abandoned cart is available in the system, you will, it will be listed into the current abandoned carts tab. You will get the cart information here and it will be treated as abandoned once it will pass over to the cart timer. Like we have a default timer of five minutes. Once a cart is into the system, it will be considered as abandoned after five minutes and synced over to the Motic. So now let's move to the front end of the site and try demonstrating a abandoned cart capturing flow. So we are now at the front end of the site and we will add some product into the cart. and move to the checkout page. In checkout page, we will initiate the checkout process by filling up the checkout form and entering our details. We will not be placing the order as we will need to fill up the details and leave the cart. The abandoned cart capturing will be triggered as soon as we will fill up the email field Once we fill up the email field, card should be captured by the system and it will be available into the abandoned cards table in the admin. Now head over to the admin and see if the card is captured or not. You can see the card is listed over there and you can check the card contents by clicking on view card. And currently it is in active state and after five minutes, it will be synced over Motic. You can now sync, see the sync status. 
Now head over to the Motic and see if the contact is present over there or not. You can see the contact is now sent over Motic. And now quickly check the fields which are being populated. You can see the fields, current abandoned cart status, current abandoned cart HTML, and abandoned cart product count, abandoned cart total value, abandoned cart products, abandoned cart URL, and abandoned cart offer coupon. Uh, this field current abandoned cart HTML is a HTML field. Motive by default doesn't provide doesn't support the uh, HTML fields. For that, we have set up some custom code in Motic code files. We have a proper documentation of that. You can check that. And there are hardly two or three files in which you will need to add a couple of line codes, and that will enable the HTML fields in your Motic custom field especially the abandoned card product HTML field. And also it will enable enable the token usage of that field. Like you can use that field as token and it will be rendered as HTML in your email templates. Now let's quickly check if the contact is added into segment or not. Currently, you can see there is no contact, but once we will run the command to update the segment, the contact will be added into the segment. We have run the command and you can now see we have one contact. So contact is now added into the segment. So now the abandoned card contact is added into the abandoned card segment. So next step will be creating some abandoned card reminder emails. In this section, we will explain the email templates which we have already created and their use case. And also we will explain the token which we have used in those templates. So let's move further. Here you can see we have an abandoned card which is already seen over Motic. And you can see the contact is already there. And contact is added into the abandoned card segment. So next we will be creating some email templates. Here you can see we have already created three email templates, which we'll be using to send notifications to the user. Abandoned cart reminder one, and abandoned cart email two, and abandoned cart email three. First will be simple notification email, and in second email we will be offering some coupon code. And after that, we will remind user that their card is going to be expired soon. Let's check the email templates one by one. We have inside the edit page of the first email. You can see we have used, please complete your order as a subject line. When you go inside your builder, you can see the email template layout. Here we have the logo of the website and also a heading and some content. And after that, we have a CTA. Let's check the tokens which we have used in this template. First token is MWB abandoned cart URL, which consists the checkout URL of the site. And if user access this checkout URL, product will be already added into the cart, automatically added into the cart, and user just have to enter their billing information and payment information to complete the checkout process. Next token we have used the abandoned cart portal HTML. This token will render the mini cart in email template. And after that, we have used abandoned cart URL token in our CTA. Which will redirect re user to the checkout page of the site. So this is all for the first template. Let's quickly see the details of the second template. In the second templates, we have used special offer only for you as a subject line. If you open the builder, you can see the main layout of the template. Here we have offered some coupon code to the user. In this template, we have used MWB abandoned coupon property as a token, which will have the coupon code if any coupon code is provided to the user. And also we have the CTA. In third email template, we will remind user that their card will be going to expire soon. So if they, if they want to recover that, they can make the purchase.
you can see the subject line of this template your card will expire soon if you go to the builder you can see the contents of the the layout of the template here we'll be using the same token as the real one mw product html and also we have the same cta for complete your order which will redirect your order to the checkout which will redirect customer to the checkout page so here are the three templates which we'll be using in the in our campaign which will we will create in the next session so now we have set up all the email templates which we'll be using in our recovery campaign so in this step we will be creating our abandoned cart campaign in this step i'll be explaining the abandoned cart campaign flow its condition events and action we have used in this campaign so let's proceed further and see the campaign workflow here you can see we have all the email templates which we'll be using our campaign so let's quickly move the campaign here you can see we have already created the abandoned cart reminder campaign let's click on the campaign and see the details of that campaign click on add it and launch the campaign builder to see the further details you can see the cart campaign workflow here we have used cart abandoners segment as a data source after that we have sent first notification to the contacts after sending first notification we have waited for one day and after one day we have checked if user has coupon code or not if user has the coupon code we will be sending him the discount offer email and after sending discount offer email we will send we will send next email after 5 days just before removing the cart from the system and if user doesn't have the coupon code we will send the last notification straight away let's check the each component one by one we have used cart abandoned segment as data source and in next step we have sent the first notification email it will be sent immediately as contact added into the segment we have used abandoned cart email one in this segment after sending first notification email we have waited for one day and added a condition if user has coupon code or not in this condition we have basically checked the contact property of an abandoned cart if it is empty not empty that means user have assigned a coupon code and we can send him that email we are changing the limit to 1 minute so 5 uh, minutes so we can try the campaign manually if user has a coupon code we will be sending that sending him the discount in for sending the discount we have used abandoned cart email template too which we had discussed in the last section and if user doesn't recover his cart at this stage we will be sending him the last reminder email if for which we will use abandoned cart email 3 if user doesn't have the coupon code we will send the last reminder notification template straight away after 5 days without offering up any coupon code because user doesn't have any coupon code in his account we are changing the time period to less as we will be tailoring the campaign manually and trying out it once we have made the changes in the campaign click on apply to save the changes and close the campaign builder in campaign builder page in campaign edit page we will publish the campaign to see that that campaign into the action so we have set up the uh, set up our abandoned cart recovery campaign you can see currently there is no contact in this in this campaign but once we will trigger the trigger the campaign update command contact will be added into the command into the campaign so now we have created our abandoned cart segment we have created email templates for our campaign and also created our campaign in this step we will see the campaign in execution and cart recovery workflow we will demonstrate the recovery workflow and complete the flow by placing a test order here is the contact which is which has a currently abandoned cart and it is added into the current abandoned cart segment you can see it is it is added to the contact is added to the abandoned cart segment we have triggered the campaign update command and contact is now added to the abandoned cart reminder campaign next we will trigger the campaign trigger command 
and content and the first event of the campaign will be executed here you can see we have triggered the campaign trigger command and first event has been successfully triggered of the campaign first reminder notification has been sent and also the event uh, further event has been scheduled so now head over to the email and see if we got the email or not we have a email with subject please complete your order and if we open the email you can see we have all the card contents present in that email and also we have the button which will redirect us to the checkout page of the website if we will click that button you can see we are landed to the checkout page and all, and also the all the products are added into the cart automatically we can recover our cart at this point but we will wait for the second reminder notification so now let head, head over to the motic again now we have triggered the campaign trigger command again and you can see the second reminder notification is also being sent so now let's head over to the email and see if we got the second email or not here you can see we have a email special offer only for you if we click on that email we will get our coupon code just copy the coupon code as we will be placing the order at this step and we will reach the site by clicking on complete your order button we are at the checkout page and all the products are already added into the cart now let's fill up the checkout form enter the coupon code which which will which was in the email and place the order so now we have successfully placed the order from our abandoned cart notification emails now head over to the plugin panel and see what changes are there you will see the the abandoned cart has been removed from the table as it is recovered and let head over to the motic and see what changes has been done to the contact you can see you will see the order details are present now the product bought and category bought fields are populated total number of order is one and also we have set up the rfm rating and the current abandoned card status is set to no which will remove the contact from the segment hence it will be removed from the campaign too now check the abandoned card segment contact should be removed you can see there is no contact in the segment and also the scheduled event will be removed as contact is no longer part of that campaign here you can see the order is being created so in this way we have recovered an abandoned cart and converted into an order so the recovery flow is completed now so we have just demonstrated how you can create abandoned cart recovery workflow and convert your abandoned cart into sales using Motive WooCommerce integration. What more you can do with Motive WooCommerce integration? Motive WooCommerce integration syncs your customer information over Motive, and that customer information can be used for several purposes. You can send product or category based notification to your customers. You can send pending paid payment reminder notification to your customers. You can segment your customers based on their RFM ratings. You can add tags to your contacts, or you can set up Motive tracking script to your store using Motive WooCommerce integration. So now putting it all together at the end, integration of your, or your WooCommerce store with Motive strongly aims to strengthen your relationship with your customers and grow your business as you want. This was all from my side. If you have any question, you are welcome. Thanks for having me here. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you so much, um, Wait. 
Um, that was a wonderful session, and um, it's really, really um, a lot to talk about how you can be able to use um, Mautic with um, e-commerce, WooCommerce especially, and especially solving the, um, the aspect of abandoned carts, which is actually one of the things that actually help um, that actually um, is is one of the pain of e-commerce stores because they actually want to be able to get those that come to visit their website to also be able to come back later. And the idea of being able to offer them a, a unique coupon that also yeah. get them excited about coming back. That was really a very nice one. And um, that was really, really good. So um, if you want to ask um, Moit questions, please, um, you can just follow the, uh, the the instruction on the screen. So just go to hahaslides.com forward slash capital T1 and capital S1. Um, you can just submit your questions there. I'll be able to take them and I'll be able to ask Moit. All right, so Moit, um, a few questions for you, uh, okay? All right, so um, how and um, on which event data is sync over Mautic? from WooCommerce using integration? Yeah, <clears throat> so once you have set up the, your connection and set up your connection and settings part, uh, the plugin will be monitoring some for some events like user registration, profile update, new order event, and order update event. At those events, plugin will, we will, plugin will be uh, tr uh, tracking the events. And at those, those events, plugin will capture the data of, of your customer and once we have the data of uh, data of the customers it will be synced over motic on two events like there are settings in the plugin for that you can sync your data in like instantly as soon as the event occur or you can sync your data in five minutes like we have set up a wordpress con cron event with continuously monitoring for the data and send the data over motic in every five minutes so yeah that's how the data sync over motic Oh, great, great. All right, good. All right, so um, I have a question here from Dick. Yeah. All right, um, let me ask the question. Okay, let me just share it on the screen. All right, so Dick is asking, do clients need to be registered to be registered WordPress users to get sync? No, In no, no. our WooCommerce setup, this is not the case. No, no. A user does not need to like be a registered user. It works for guest user as well. Like in the in the presentation we just see, saw, like it works for guest user. So no need to use it for the registered user. It will work for guest user as well. Like someone enter your uh, your shop and just initiate the checkout process. And if we get the email address of that customer, the data will be synced over Motic, and you will have that contact in your Motic account. So yeah, okay, no great. For the registered user. Great. All right. Another one from Chris. Um, will any data be stored on your server? No. Uh, data no, privacy. Maybe, yeah, no. Nothing will be stored in our server. Like it will be your store and your Motic instance. Like your data will be synced from your store to your Motic instance. Uh, no data will be synced on our servers. Okay. Great. So um, that is a very critical question, and uh, mm -hmm. everybody is concerned about privacy and also about privacy of their customers. Okay, great. Good to know that you are not storing any data. All right, mm -hmm. Joe is asking, what is the pricing? How much does it cost? Uh, the uh, We have two versions. Like one version is for WordPress ORG. That version is uh, free version, but it doesn't have that abandoned card functionality. For abandoned card functionality, you will need to purchase our premium plugin, which is for $99. And I think it is currently on sale. So you will get the benefit as well, sir. Okay, all right. So um, we have another question from Inda. Similarly, do you have integration for Shopify? Um, since you've talked about WooCommerce, is there a one-time cost or is it a monthly cost? Yeah, the plugin is a one-time cost. Like you have to just pay for once and you will have the access of the plugin. And we offer like one year update and support. Like one year or six months, I'm not sure, but we offer some time free supports and update. And after that, if you want to further up need updates, we have a system of like 30% of plugin you will need to, 30% cost of the plugin you will need to pay in every year or something like that. But there is no recurring payment like system. And I think we have a plugin for Shopify 
uh, and Magento as well. So yeah, we have system for Shopify and Magento, Magento too as well. So and if you if if you need that, you can get to our support and they will help you in that case. All right. So um so still on that one, I want to ask um for the update. So um if I should buy any if I should buy the plugin now. So yeah, yeah. for how long uh, is there a is there a support duration that you give to me in case yeah, any yeah. new version comes in between that period? Can I upgrade to that new version without paying? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, the, the uh, support and update is for one year free, free of cost. So you will get the support and the uh, update for one year. And after one year, you will not get the support and the updates, but you can use your existing plugin. That will, that plugin will work fine. Um. Uh, okay. Um. So you're saying that if I need to get an upgrade after one year, I need to pay thirty percent. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Of the cost yeah, of that yeah. only thirty percent, not that. Yeah, not that entire amount of the plugin. You will just okay. to pay the thirty percent amount of that. Okay, but what about situation where there are bugs and um, fixes? Yeah, if there is any bug, we will provide the support. There's no issue of that. Okay, all right. So um, here's another question from Giovanni. Um, what are the requirements to use the plugin in terms of WordPress version and multi version? That is very critical. Yeah, I think it. Uh, um, uh, I we have recently checked the compatibility with the latest version of WP and WooCommerce, so it works with the latest version and about about the the base version. It works for Motic two point one four point two and the WP version is, uh, I think it's it is 5.42, and the WooCommerce version minimum requirement for WooCommerce version is 3.3. .3. So yeah, these are the base version we use. But uh, as the new version comes out, we provide uh, we, we provide the compatibility of the new version. So that are okay. requirements, okay. and we suggest we suggest that you will all uh, always have the latest version of your like WordPress and WooCommerce to get the be better benefit onto the stores. All right. Okay, does um, Shopify and Magento plugin support uh, abandoned cards? Yeah, yeah, both the, like all the uh, solutions are, have the similar kind of feature. So uh, uh, both of them also have the abandoned card feature. As well. Okay, great. All right, so um, we have a question from Joanne and um, Joanne is thanking us for the conference. Um, he said, um, I'm a client of the plugin and it's really very powerful. Okay, great. But he has a question because when I register the WooCommerce client as a Matic user, then it does not. Oh, your question is not complete, Juan. Um, do you mm -hmm. want to write that? Do you want to um, um, type that again and send? Okay. Uh, okay. She, she, um, the question says, but I have a question because when I register the WooCommerce client as a Matic user, mm -hmm then it does not track the victor's activity on the WooCommerce side. Mm, Mitch, uh, I think you should check that if the tracking script are working fine or not. Sometimes like our tracking work on the email feed, like based on email fields, you track your users. So you should check uh, the, the quick fix can be, you should check for the your email fields. Just go to your custom fields tab and check if the email field is like, publicly updated updatedable is not like it should be the unique unique field like there are fields which should be unique and you need to you will track user based on that so we track based on email field so you can check if the, your email field is unique or not if that is unique and still you, you like plugin is not tracking the visitor you you are always welcome to our support and we will try to fix the issue as quickly as possible but it tracks the user so yeah, okay. it should be working, but if it's not working at your end, you can get connect to our support. Okay, I hope Joanne, you can also reach out to the support at uh, Make Web Better, yeah. and I'm sure they will be able to help you more and um, get yeah, to see what you better, the um, cause of that. Yeah. All right, so one more question. Um, since we have okay, we have one that question, but before that question, I want to ask what are <laughs> what are the other benefits of using multi-commerce integration? apart from abandoned cat tracking? Uh, 
uh, apart from abandoned abandoned cart tracking like whenever you create a strategy for your like you create marketing strategy for your existing customer or your leads so what what the basic thing you will need for deciding the marketing strategy you will need to have the data about your customers about your leads so you can plan uh, uh, what path we should follow for the marketing or we will better know our customers and better know the uh, requirements of the customer so what our plugin does is get the data from your woocommerce store about your customers and sync over to the motic so when you have all the information in your motic you can plan your campaigns better you can segment your customers and run different campaigns on them like we have fields for like uh, order fields which capture the order information of the customers we have product fields which capture the product purchase information of customers we have rfm fields which which rate customers based on their recency frequency and monetary ratings and also we have some profile fields like billing and shipping fields so you will have all those information in your motic account so if you have those information you can uh, segment your customers better and create your campaigns better let's say uh, for example you want to set up a campaign for customers of only one product like uh, there there is a product which is highly purchasable in your shop and performing better and you want to upsell other products to uh, to the to other customers other product so you can segment your contacts based on that product purchase like we have a field product purchase which which have the value of that product you can uh, use use that field as a filter and you can segment your customers and set up your campaign based on time so yeah the, our plugin will let you have the more information about your customers so you can set up your campaigns better and get most of most out of your store and get the better results okay great so uh one more question from chris so chris wants to know if there's an open version of your plugin and um he wants to know where you can also start without um in case he wants to start without abandonment uh you can go to wordpress.org and search for motic woocommerce integration i should have put that link in that presentation but i forgot to mention that link but if you go to wordpress.org and search for motic plugins or search for motic woocommerce integration even if you uh, even if you search for search over the google about motic woocommerce integration i think in first or second link it will be there the wordpress org version it doesn't have the abandoned cart feature but it will sync your registered users over motic all right all right so moik um i must say again um this is a very wonderful one and thank you for bringing up the um the product the plugin and um trying to help solve issues um problem that a lot of small businesses big businesses yeah. are trying to think of how they can be without having to spend so much um, this is really, really a wonderful one, and um, it's really been a very good session, and I must commend you for that. So um, thanks to everyone who asked questions, and thanks to everybody who also joined this section. Um, so um, we'll be starting the next session shortly. Um, please stay back, and um, uh, we'll look forward to having you on our next session.